Hi guys, so welcome back sa ating YouTube channel. So, ito na yung modular system application. So, since modular system yung previous video natin, pinag-usapan natin yung modulo and addition, modulo and multiplication, yung modular arithmetic, o yung ating C sub n, okay, yung ating set of remainders, okay, then yung ating congruence modulo. So, pinakita ko sa inyo yung idea nun. So, ngayon, punta naman tayo dito. So, let's have the application. No? So, application number one, hours of the clock. So, gagamitin natin yung congruence modulo dito. So, as advised by her doctor, Kate, so si Kate yan, no? so si top one natin. So, si Kate take her medicine every 8 hours. If Kate took her medicine at exactly 8 a.m. after her dinner, what time should she take her medicine again? So, ang sabi lang daw, no? so, uh, sabi lang si Kate daw ay mag-take ng medicine every 8 hours. Ngayon, si Kate daw ay nag-take ng medicine niya noong alas 8. So, anong oras dapat siya mag-take ng medicine? So, napakasimple lang naman, no? So, every 8 hours, so, kurang 8, at ka lang na 8 hours. So, mini-expect natin na dapat, 1, 2, 3, dapat mga 4, 4 p.m. Okay, so, let lang natin consider yung time. Let lang natin yung n be equal sa 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, so, ito yung ten, end, end natin, which is yung time. O, yung time frame natin. So, 12 hours lang, hindi tayo military time. So, sa military time. So, meaning, ang gagawin lang natin is just since 8 a.m. siya nag-start, dito yun, eight tayo dito. So, 8 a.m. So, ang gagawin lang, this is 8, then plus, ilagay tayo dito ng 12. Then, another 8 hours, kasi every 8 hours, since 8 a.m. siya nag-start, then another 8 hours daw, maglalagay ka another 8 hours. Okay, so this is just equal sa 8 plus 8 modulo 12 or meaning this is just 16 modulo 12 and we all know that 16 divided by 12 the remainder is 4 so meaning ang magiging sagot lang natin that is 4 mod 12 ok so meaning Kate should take her message should take her medicine or medication at 4 p.m. Yan ako simple. So, ito yung magiging sagot natin. So, ganun siya ka simple. So, next is, Princess is slept exactly 7 hours before the scheduled time to take her medicine. So, si Princess, siya naman yung president natin sa psychology. So, what time did she sleep? So again, no, princess slept exactly 7 hours before the scheduled time to take her medicine. What time did she sleep? Okay, so, ayun, medyo nakamali ako na, ano ko, na pagpalit ko nung, na pag-iba ko ng pangalan. Uh, supposedly, dapat yung, num yung item na to, yung number na to is correlated or something related dito sa number 1. Okay, so dito daw si Kate. So assuming, si princess is si Kate na rin. So, kumbaga, same na nangyari senaryo. Si Princess nagtake ng medicine nung 8 AM. So dapat nagtake siya ng medicine niya at 4 PM. Okay, so again, kinidinuduktong ko lang. Kung baga karuktong lang din talaga siya dito based dun sa book. So natagalan din ako na pa-edit pa ako ng di oras. Okay, ngayon. Ngayon kung si Pre, Kate or si Princess daw slept exactly 7 hours before the scheduled time to take her medicine. What time did she sleep? Kung baga dapat alas 4 niya ititake yung medicine. Tama naman, kasi based sa solution o sa solving natin, dapat 4 niya ititake. Kaso nangyari, natulog siya before, 7 hours before the scheduled time. So, meaning, paano gagawin natin dyan? So, this is just equal sa 4. Dapat dyan siya magtitake ng medicine niya. Ta similar, 12 pa rin dito. Then, negative 7. Okay, so ganyan naman yan. Bakit negative 7? Kasi 7 hours before the scheduled time. So, meaning, nauna siya ng 7 hours na natulog bago yung schedule time niya. So, magangyar, this is just equal sa this is 4 plus negative 7 modulo 12. Okay, so ito yung medyo nakakalito sa part or medyo maninibago kayo. This is negative 3 mod 12. So, paano naman natin i-analyze? Ano ba yung negative 3 mod 12? Ano ba yung equivalent niya? So, since mod 12 tayo, pag-usapan natin to, no? So, meron tayong 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 
9, 10, 11, tapos 12, no? Okay, ganito kasi nangyari. Since negative 3, so ito yung pan 12 hours. Babalik mo pa, balik doon. So, 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. Hmm, tama, 1, 2, 3. So, ang mangyari, this is just, siyempre, count mo to. Ito yung, ito yung count na una, negative 1, negative 2. Ah, sorry, sorry. Start tayo sa 0, Balik sa 0, negative 1, negative 3. Okay, so, ito yung pang negative 3. So, pang ilan siya? So, pang 9 siya. So, tama, pang 9 siya. So, meaning, ang magiging result dapat dito is something na pang 9. Then, mod 12. Okay, so, kunyari, negative 4. Kung negative 4, 8 siya. So, ganito na lang, pinaka-senaryo siguro, pinakamadali ko na lang na shortcut na pwede kong hindi ko sure ko shortcut, no? Pwede kang ganto na lang, no? Gawin mo, 12 minus 3, 9. So, kunyari, negative 4 yan. 12 minus 4, 8. Ganun ka simple. So, pwede yung tip na lang siguro, no? Gawin mo na lang, i-subtract mo na lang yung 12 plus negative 3 mo na lang, that is 9, para makuha mo yan. So, kung hindi mo nag-get siya idea. Ang idea ko lang dito is something na, kinot ko yung oras, ito yung negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. Yung sunod doon, that is 9. So, kung baga, nakuha na ito, na-consume to So, ano yung number yung sunod doon? That is 9. So, 9, positive 9. So, dapat negative 4, positive 9 na yun. So, kaya kinuha ko siya. Pero siguro, pinakamaganda na lang is gawin mo yung 12 plus negative 3, that is 9. Okay, kung negative 7 yan, 12 plus negative 7, that is 5. Ganun lang kasimple. Okay, so if ever, negative. So, hindi laging 12 yung ina-add. So, depende rin sa ating end. So, for example, nakita mo, negative 1 mod 4. This is simply equivalent lang sa 3 mod 4. Okay, so sana nag-get yung idea ni Sir dito. Okay, so meaning, kailan siya dapat mag-take ng medicine? Anong oras siya natulog, by the way? So, meaning, ang sagot dito, anong oras siya natulog? Uh, natulog siya ng 9 a.m. 9 a.m. Kasi 9 mod 12 yung nabas. So, tanong, what time did she sleep? She sleep at, at 9 a.m. Parang gano'n. Natulog siya ng alas 9 ng umaga. So, nung nag-take siya ng medicine, natulog siya ng around alas 9. Nagising siya. So, nagising siya nung bago mag-take ng medicine niya. So, grabe, no. Tagal-tagal din niya natulog. Di naman totally. So, basta natulog siya nun. 7 hours lang naman before. Exa slept exactly 7 hours before the schedule. O, step lang. So, hindi naman sinabi na 7 hours siya literal natulog. So, kumbaga lang, natulog siya nung time na yon 7 hours before na take siya ng exam. Ayun lang na. Ayun lang exam ng medicine niya. Ayun lang naman yung sinasabi dito. Okay, so next is, now, if today is Thursday, so this is days of the week naman, so if today is Thursday, what day was if 5 days ago? So, ito na naman siguro application na ito, no? If today is Thursday, so paano natin naman i-represent pag mga ganito? Ah, ang ganito gawin natin, yung Monday, i-represent natin sa 1, yung Tuesday sa 2, yung Wednesday sa 3, yung Thursday, which is H, this is 4, yung Friday, that is 5, yung Saturday, this is 6. Yung Sunday, this is 7. Ganyan natin, represent na lang yung number of hours. So, meaning, yung N natin dito, so, ganito guys, ha, anong nangyari, yung N natin, o yung pinandidivide natin, is yung 12. Kasi, 12 hours yung pinag-uusapan sa o'clock. Okay, so, dito naman, this, uh, week naman, days of the week, dito naman is yung 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yung numbering lang, so, pitong araw lang. So, meaning, yung N natin dito is laging 7. So, ngayon, ang sabi niya, if today is Thursday, so, meaning, anong, anong araw ngayon? If today is Thursday, this today is 4. Okay, what day was it 5 days ago? Was it 5 days ago? So, pag sinabi, what day is 3 days from now, ipa-plus 3 mo siya. Pero kung what day was it 5 days ago, so meaning, was it 5 days ago? So, 7 dito, this is negative 5. Kasi was it 5 days ago? So, that is simply, 4 plus negative 5 modulo 7. So, this is just simply negative 1 modulo 7. 7. So, negative 1. So, again, yung tip, 7 minus 1, or 7 plus negative 1, that is 6. So, this is just simply 6 mod 7. So, what is 5 days ago? Ano siya? That is simply Saturday. So, tama ba? Saturday. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Tama. Saturday. So, meaning Saturday. Okay. So, ganun siya. Kasimple. Okay. So, ganito naman yung gagawin. So, ngayon, pag sinabi, what day is 7 days before, uh, 7 days from now? Parang 5 days from now. What day, what day is 7 days from now? Mamag-add ka naman. Eh, dahil ago, negative 5. Ganun ka simple. 
Okay, so ganyan sa my days of the week. So, ito yung last application na nakita ko para sa ating, dito, sa ating modular system. So, modulo pa rin to. So, huwag kayong malilito talaga sa modulo na yan. Ha? So, again, this is application number 3, the encoding and decoding. So, again, encoding and decoding. So, consider the English alphabet with 6, 26 letters and assign a number to each letter starting with A as 1. So, ang sabi lang niya, consider natin yung English alphabet. So, that's A, B, C, D, walang N niya. Okay, so this is the English alphabet. Tapos i-assign lang natin yung number 1 to 26. Pero dahil, na, dahil pinag-uusapan natin si modular system, 26 letters, yung pinakahuli, hindi tayo abot sa 26. Again, hindi tayo abot sa 26. Ito, ito gagawin. Gagamitin kasi natin yung idea ng C sub 26. So, aware ka dito na mag start siya dapat sa posted sa 0. No? So, dapat 0 and that, that, that up to 25. Kaso, ang gagawin natin dito, ang ginawa dito is something na, yung A, i-represent natin as 1, tapos mangyari yung dulo yung 0. So, kunyari, A is 1, B is 2, C is 3, la 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 bla 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 bla, S is 19, la and G is 0. So, nakita mo, Y is 25. Siya yung pang 25 letter. Then, yung pang 26 letter, that is 0. That is yung ating Z. So, meaning yung Z is yung 0. So, again, that is our number. Yan yung assign natin na number sa kanila. Okay, so, anong gagawin natin sa encoding formula? Ang gagawin natin is, i-encode lang natin yung number. For example, encode tayo ng word math. So, depende sa formula. So, again, meron tayo tinatawag na encode, encoding formula. So, encoding formula, hindi ka magde-derive nan. Bagkos, bibigay ko lang yan sa inyo. So, or given lang isa sa questions. Okay, so, but, susab natin yung decoding formula. So, kung kaya natin yung encode, i-decode din natin yung secret message niya. Okay, so, use the encoding formula, y is equal to x plus 10, modulo 26 to encode the word math. So, meaning yung x, ay yung mga given natin dito. Yung mga values x natin. So, use the encoding formula. So, yung formula natin is y is equal sa x plus 10, tapos saka natin imamodulo 26. Okay. So, ano yung mga letter? To encode the word math. So, encode natin yung word math. Ito yung m a t H, check natin. Pag in-encode natin yung word na mat, ano yung M? Yung M based sa number, si M is 13. So, ito is 13. So, ito ay 13. Yung A is 1. Yung T is 20. Yung H is 8. Based dito. So, ito yung mga X natin. Yung mga in-encode natin. So, meaning, para makuha natin yung value, ang gagawin natin, sa substitute lang natin sila lahat dito. So, meaning, ito yung mga X tapos i-substitute natin sa mga x ilalabas yun yung y okay so mangyari this is 13 1 mod so this is 13 plus 10 mod 26 so dinuktong ko na lang this is plus 10 mod 26 this is plus 10 mod 26 this is plus 10 mod 26 Kumbaga, dinuktong ko na lang guys. Ha? So, 13 plus 10, modulo 26. So, since less than naman siya sa n natin. So, ito yung idea guys. Ha? Pag less than naman siya dun sa n natin, ang sagot na lang is just n. So, this is just, ang sagot na lang dito is just 23 mod 26. So, ano yung 23 na yun? Yung 23 na yun is just si w. So, meaning, ang letter dito is w. So, yung w titignan. Okay, next is 1 plus 10, so that's 11. Since less than naman sa 26, 11 na lang siya as is. So, this is 11 mod 26. So, this is just 11. So, what is the 11th digit? That is K. So, this is K. So, pag nilagay daw ito word naman. So, this is 20. This is 30, no? So, 30 mod 26. So, mangyari, this is 30 mod 26. So, since sobra siya, kunin natin yung remainder. So, simplify natin. Ang remainder, this is just 4. 4 mod 26. So, anong sagot dyan? This is just simply, 4, fourth letter is D. Tama? W, K, D. Then, lastly, 8 plus 10, that is 18. Less than naman siya sa 26. This is just simply, 18 mod 26. So, this is just equal sa pang 18th letter natin, that is simply R. Okay, so meaning, pag in-encode natin yung word na mat, ang makikita natin na word is WKDR. So, hindi ko alam kung yan. Okay, so meaning, this is just equivalent lang sa WKDR. Ayun yung sagot natin. Although, kahit ito okay na ako dyan. Okay, so ganun siya kasimple guys. 
Okay, so lastly naman is let us decode. So again, ito yung encoding formula. Ito naman yung ating decoding. So hindi natin alam kung ano yung decoding formula. So note, ito yung decoding formula. Kailangan naman natin solve yung encoding formula. So ganito lang kasimple guys para makuha yung decoding formula natin. No? So from y plus x. Ah, sorry. So y is equal to x plus 10 mod 26. So, ang gagawin mo lang guys is just yung 26 minus mo sa 10 para makuha mo yung ipapalit mo dito. So, again, ang gagawin mo lang is something na uh, kapalit to, this is just x is equal to y then plus 26 minus 10 that is 16. So, this is 16 mod 26. Okay. So, kulit lang yung pamangkin ko. So, again, uh, x plus 10 mod 26. So, pinagpalit ko, x, y. So, ano nangyari? Nag-interchange nag lang sila. Tapos, ang gagawin ko, 26 minus 10, that is 16. So, ang mangyari, ang decoding formula ko is x is equal to y plus 16 mod 26. So, pakitandaan. So, ito yung ating decoding formula. Decoding formula. Okay. So, gaya ng dati, de-decode natin to. So, ano yung medo CS, CSB? So, decode natin yan. Ano ba yung message niya? So, hindi ko alam dito sa book na to eh. Kung ano yung ano niya. So, start tayo sa medo. So, yan yung, yung medo, yan yung mga Y natin. Okay. So, M. We have M. Medo. So, medo, this is just equal sa Ano yung M? M is 13. So, this is 13 plus 16 mod 26. No? Then, E is 5. So, this is 5 plus 16 mod 26. Then, D is 4. This is 4 plus 16 mod 26. Then, this is O is 15. So, this is 15 plus 16 mod 26. So, I guess pwede ko na siya shortcut na lang guys, no? So, kita niyo naman yung sagot eh. So, note that 13 plus 16 is 29. So, 29 um, 29 Tama ba? So, 29, no? Tama naman. So, 29 mod 26. That is 3 mod 26. So, this is 3 mod 26. So, ano yung 3? So, what is 3? So, 3 is C. This is C. Then, this is, next is, uh, 5 plus 16, that is 21. So, since less than 26 naman, so this is just 21 mod 26. So, only 21. The 21th letter is U. Or U. U. Next is, 4 plus 16, that is 20. So, obviously, 20 to. 20 mod 26. So, ano yung pang 20th letter? 20th letter is T. So, this is T. So, next is 15 plus 16, that is 31. 31 mod 26, that is 5. So, sobra siya na 5. No? So, this is 5 mod 26. So, ano yung 5 letter natin? E. So, this is E. Uy! Nabubuta yung word, no? So, si meta daw is C-U-T-E. Or cute. Okay, cute, cute. So, next, next, next. C-S. Ano yung CS na to? CS. So, CS natin, this is, syempre, C is 3. So, this is 3 plus 16 mod 26. Or, simply, this is 19. No? 19 mod 26. So, what is 19th letter? The 19th letter is C. S. O, S. So, next is S natin, that is 19. So, 19 plus 16 mod 26 no so mod 26 so what is that uh ano mo dito jaja so that's 35 no mod 26 ilan yun that is 9 no 9 letter is i okay so this is 9 mod 26 so this is i so ang word daw is cute c okay so sino kaya yung c na yan so c s b CSB 
So, para ma-decode latin kung sino yan. Kung sino ba yung cute na yan. Hindi ko alam eh. Obviously naman, yung C latin meron na, no? So, obviously na lang, same result na lang to. This is just simply S. Tapos yung S na natin, meron na rin tayong sagot eh. This is just simply I. Okay. So, B na lang. Problema. That is 2, no? So, this is 2. That's 16. Mod 26. This is just simply 18. So, 18 mod 18 mod 26. That is, 18th letter is R. Okay, so sino yun? So, si Doc Cute, Cute si Sir. Ewan ko guys, no? So, hindi ko alam sino yung gumawa na ito. Pero ako guys, basta hindi ko yan sinasadya. Ah. Yan ay, andyan lang talaga. Hindi ko yan, ano. So, siguro yung ibang nagturo niyan, ginawa lang yan. Pero, foreigner kasi yung nagano na ito eh. Hindi ko sure bakit tumawa sa akin. Pero, subject ko na nagsabi. So, that's all guys. So, again, hoping na nag-enjoy ka sa ating topic. So, pasensya na ako medyo may mga destruction minsan, pero I guess naturo ko naman siya na maayos tapos nabakita ko sa inyo yung mga dapat nyo gagawin. So, again, thank you for watching. Hoping na marami kang natutunan.